Hey everybody, I didn't get to post any videos last week, but I did try to stay as active as possible on social media. There's a very interesting reason for that. Like all the videos that I had planned and prepared for the week had to be totally postponed because my husband woke me up on the weekend and said that he had booked a surprise trip to Paris for us, <laughs> leaving on the Tuesday. I just sort of walked around in a daze all morning, just kind of, oh really? Oh okay, let's um, Let's do that then. Quite possibly the most romantic thing anybody's ever done for me. We have been having a very stressful time lately and it's only going to get more stressful when we move cities soon. Uh, so he thought it would be a really good idea to just spontaneously take a romantic trip to what is famously the most romantic city in the world. I wasn't able to post any videos last week but I should say that the trip was so eventful that there's been a lot of talk about a couple of bad things that happened there. So I figured that before I put up the vlogs from the trip or any other videos that I should just explain to you guys uh, my story about what happened in Paris. The two two rather dramatic and very saddening incidents that happened there. If you follow me on social media, particularly Snapchat, Instagram or Facebook, you'll know what I'm talking about already. Two events. Here's the first one. I've been to Paris before but my husband Matthias, he never has been and he really really wanted to visit the Louvre. Uh, the Paris Catacombs, the Père Lachaise Cemetery, and to go up the Eiffel Tower. And those are the things that he really wanted to do. So on the first day, the first thing we wanted to do was to visit the Louvre. If you're not familiar with me and my channel, I look like this pretty much all the time. And Matthias has his own style, and so we always kind of look the same when we go out and about. So we got to the Louvre and as we were walking towards the door to the gate there was a security guard who saw us coming and he just started shaking his head. So we lined up and we went through the security thing and after we'd had our bag scanned and the other security staff there just told us that it was not possible for us to go in. It was impossible. Not because that we had anything dangerous in our bags, not because we were carrying weapons or anything, because of the way we looked. They said, with, with this hair, with these clothes, we, we will not allow it. You can't come in. And I was like, is this really happening? An art museum is telling us that we can't come in to look at the art because we look too artistic. They said, no, you have to go. You're not allowed to come in. And their reasoning was because we looked too interesting that we would attract too much attention to ourselves and that the visitors there would want to cluster around and take photos of us and photos with us. That's what they said, that other visitors would want to take photos with us and would cluster around and it would cause a scene. So I started to cry and Matthias got really upset and we just kind of drifted away. Yeah, we weren't allowed to go into the Louvre, the greatest art museum in the world, because we look too artistic and that seems to me and to most of you I know to be completely absurd that a place that celebrates creative people and eccentrics doesn't allow people who look too creative or eccentric to come in and appreciate the work. I made a post about it on Facebook saying hey guess who just got denied entry to the Louvre for looking too weird and I guess it got a bit of attention because the Louvre responded. I have a feeling that they might have got whammed with a, an avalanche of pissed off goths writing them messages. They said, oh, we apologize for the inconvenience, for the extra security checks at the entrance, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, the security stuff is fine. That's totally understandable. Like there were bombings in Paris a year ago. Like the security there is super tight and that's totally understandable. That's completely okay. We are not dangerous. We are just normal fucking tourists who happen to look a bit weird, who I like everyone else and just want to come in and appreciate these ancient masterpieces. No, we were not let in because we look too weird. It's also pretty ridiculous to think that the visitors to the Louvre would be more interested in taking photos of a couple of weird looking tourists than these historical masterpieces. Eh. I mean it's kind of like a weird backhanded compliment in a way that we would cause too much of a scene merely by being there and that people would be more interested in taking photos of us than the paintings. Anyway, to wrap up that story where it stands, a journalist contacted me about it, a French journalist, and they also contacted the Louvre to get their side of the story. And <laughs> I have to laugh. So what the Louvre said to the journalist was that I was rejected because I was too famous and should have arranged a private visit. 
I have to laugh at that and also give it a slow blink. A, because I'm not that fucking famous. Jesus Christ. I'm just a YouTuber with like half a million followers. I'm not like Posh and Bex or someone who's actually a celebrity who's actually going to cause a stir if they just turned up there. And they never said that. They didn't know who I was. They didn't know. They just said they wouldn't let us in because of the way we looked. So yeah, they made up a story for the media, which is pretty interesting. Anyway, we were very disappointed, but we didn't want to let that ruin our trip to Paris. So we enjoyed the rest of our day. And we decided that the following day we were going to visit the catacombs and the Père Lachaise Cemetery. It turned out that rather unfortunately the catacombs were closed again just for the month. So we were pretty bummed out about that. Uh, so we figured we'd just go straight to the cemetery. It was kind of getting towards the end of the day at that point and they close at 6. So we figured that we would just hang out there for a bit and then probably come back the next day to spend a bit more time. Because it's a really, really big cemetery. It's famous. It's beautiful. I've been there before. Uh, lots of celebrities are buried there, which is why it's so well known, I guess. So we went along to the cemetery and I in particular really wanted to visit the grave of Oscar Wilde. But I figured that we'd do that the following day because there just wasn't going to be enough time because it was on the other end and blah. Anyway, Anyway, I guess we were there for about 20 minutes and there was this security car driving around. That was okay, like Matthias and I separated, like he disappeared off to go take some photographs. I was kind of like sort of vaguely following him so we didn't lose each other and I just had my camera and I was making like a like a small vlog. I was basically just standing there talking about like the peaceful atmosphere of the place and how beautiful it was and that we would probably come back the next day. I was just making my vlog and the security car drove past and saw me taking my vlog and they didn't seem to care. It was pretty obvious that I was like filming myself talking. They drove past, they didn't really care. Then I caught up with Matthias and we were just kind of walking down the road like literally all we did we were just walking around like everyone else there just innocently fucking walking around it was a nice day it was very peaceful it was very relaxing we did nothing weird nothing wrong 20 minutes of fucking walking around taking a few snaps there was probably like one or two dozen other people there as well just doing the same thing walking around looking at graves taking a few photos blah blah so yeah Caught up with Matthias and then the security car comes and pulls up behind us. The security guards get out. I'm still holding my camera in my hand, but they didn't seem to care that I had been filming video. Instead, they wanted to check Matthias's photos and they didn't speak English. They were talking very fast. They insisted on seeing his photos. And so he was like, ah, okay, and just sort of flicked through and showed them some of the photos he'd taken. It was hard, very hard to understand them. Like I learned a bit of French <laughs> at university, but um, I don't, I don't really understand it very well at all. It seemed like they were saying no photos, no photos put you know get put the camera away no photos he was like oh, okay fuck whatever fine um he put his camera away in his bag and then they left us alone now i just want to make a point <laughs> that upon arrival at the Père Lachaise cemetery there's a sign at the gate and because i don't like drama <laughs> i always make sure you know not to do things that you're not allowed to do in places i did film this by the way so you'll see so at the gate it says no dogs no bikes no driving through no alcohol no picnics nothing about no cameras, no photos, no videos, nothing about that whatsoever. So a few minutes after they left us, um, they came and found us again, but this time there was about half an hour until the cemetery closed. They were sort of rounding up people and pointing them towards the exit. But okay, that's a bit early, but whatever, fair enough. Don't want to have anybody locked in. I was like, oh, okay, sortie. And they're like, wee wee, and uh, like, okay, we're going. Yeah, we just walked with all the other visitors there towards the exit. And as we were approaching the exit, some other security guards came up and stopped us. And this is the part that gets really shitty and really upsetting. There's like two or three of these security guards, none of them speak English. They're just talking at us in like really loud fast, angry French. <laughs> this time they didn't care about Matthias's camera, they didn't care about his photos, um, they were only interested in mine. So I showed them what I had recorded. I, I, pretty much my videos, would, I'd hardly actually filmed anything, because like I said, we we're planning to come back the next day. And I had mostly just been filming myself talking, like I'm doing right now. But, you know, with a selfie stick. <laughs> I don't actually think that, you know, you're not allowed to take photos or anything. I think they were just wanting to see what we were up to. I think that they saw that we looked weird and that they wanted to see if we'd been doing weird stuff in the cemetery. The other people who'd been visiting there were leaving and they all had cameras in their hands. Matthias started getting upset and he pointed to this other woman who was holding a big camera. He's like, well, why don't you stop her? Why is she allowed to take photos? Why don't you stop her? Why have you only stopped us? And like, they just, they were just being so awful. They were actually genuinely the rudest 
fucking people I've ever encountered. Like the rudest security guards. Unbelievable. I just kept saying je ne comprends pas and je ne parle pas français. Like I don't understand. I don't speak French. I don't know what you're saying. What have we done wrong? Like what's going on? What's happening? What's happening? And you know they closed the big gates and then they were like you know come with us. It was getting pretty terrifying like they wouldn't let us leave. Um, by this point I'm crying like pretty hard <laughs> because you know the wound was still fresh from the Louvre the day before. It was just like oh my god here we go again. Like they didn't stop anyone else okay just us. Wonder why that could be. They got us to follow them into this office and in the office they brought out this older lady who laughed when she saw us a little bit. Then, uh, then they started saying they were going to call the police and just to wait there for the police. I was in absolute pieces and I got out my iPhone and I used like the translator thing and I was like writing into it like please can we leave? What's happening? What have we done wrong? But a lot of the time they didn't seem to care. If they did actually bother to read what I was trying to show them, trying to communicate, then they would just go, hmm, no. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, I don't know what you're saying. Like, what's going on? And the older lady there told us what we had apparently done wrong. And with my extremely limited French, she actually spoke slowly enough that I could kind of understand what the gist of what she was saying. It seemed that she was saying that it was a place of rest and that there are families there, blah, blah, blah. I wrote into my phone, do you think we're being disrespectful? And she said, we. Oui. And then she points to Matthias's jewelry and uh, like he was wearing a necklace made of bones that he'd made himself, like nothing bad. I don't think we were wearing any like religious symbolism, even so that shouldn't matter. Basically, they didn't seem to know why they were angry at us or what we had done wrong. First it was Matthias's photos, then it was my videos, then they said that it was because of the way we looked. Funny that, uh, yeah, and I, I kept saying like, why just us? Why didn't they stop anyone else? If it was to do with taking photos or video, why didn't they stop anyone else who was doing it? Yeah, like I'd had some really good memories there from last time I was there and this has utterly destroyed that. They forced me to delete all the video I had taken there and uh, I'd actually tried to vlog myself crying so I could document it later and they forced me to delete that as well. Not from Matthias, they, he was allowed to keep his photos but I, I was forced to delete all my photos and videos and even though I showed them what I was doing while I was deleting it, this one fucking guy wasn't satisfied. They were still saying wait here for the police. He forced me to show him everything on my camera which was actually pretty fucking embarrassing before he was satisfied and before they would let us go. So yeah, basically TLDR in a nutshell, we got denied entry to the Louvre and then the next day we got kicked out of and nearly arrested at the Père Lachaise Cemetery in Paris. Absolutely disgusting, disgraceful case of discrimination. I was, well we both were, we were absolutely heartbroken. It was crushing. And you know what? Like I said, I was there mainly to see Oscar Wilde's grave again. I am a great lover of Oscar Wilde. I have like a big poster of him. And you know what? I think he would be rolling in his grave if he knew because Oscar Wilde was known for his outlandish and flashy fashion and he believed in standing out from a crowd. And he too was persecuted and had to suffer for being himself. You know, some people have tried to be comforting and say, oh, hey, never mind, just forget about it. You know, some people are shit, blah, blah. But no, no, that's, it's not okay. Like that can't, that kind of discrimination and shit cannot go on. This sort of thing happens all the time. I know that it must happen all the fucking time to Muslims these days, shit. I don't offend easily, I really don't. But if someone doesn't trust me or treats me like a criminal, that's really, to me, that offends me. That makes me very upset and pissed off. <laughs> I refuse to do nothing about this. Like I said, a journalist has already contacted me. It can't go on. <laughs> I can't speak for religious groups or whatever, but as far as alternative people go, I feel like this is a good opportunity to maybe inspire some change in regard to, you know, not discriminating against people for looking too interesting. It's like we're always told that we should be individuals, that we should be ourselves. And then if you actually do it, <laughs> 
that's a different story. Hey babe, you do you, be yourself, be who you wanna be. Wait, no, not like that. Isn't it funny? Isn't it shitty? So yeah, we did absolutely nothing wrong, nothing weird, nothing out of the ordinary. All we did was have big hair and lots of makeup. You know, I wasn't even wearing like weird clothes. It was bloody cold in Paris. Most of the time I was just wearing like a, a coat and a scarf. It was hardly like outlandish crazy clothes or something. Yeah, big hair and a lot of makeup. Can't come in. Not allowed to appreciate art or walk around in cemeteries. It's too weird. So that's why I wasn't able to post anything last week. Um, but this week I've got a heck of a lot to make up for and yes, vlogs will follow. I'm going to try, I don't know if it's possible or not, but I'm going to try to restore the video from my camera that, that, that I was forced to delete. I don't know if it's possible, but I will do my best. I'll try to get that video back. So I don't know, stay tuned. I've got some very interesting vlogs coming up for you this week and possibly next week as well. Got a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> anyway, so thank you very much for watching. If you have yet to do so, please hit the red button below and subscribe to my channel. Like I said, lots of very interesting <laughs> videos to come up very soon. So thank you very much for watching and listening to my story. Hope that clears things up. I did take a snap of myself crying. I was so crushed, heartbroken after being sent away from Père Lachaise. Yeah, so I, I took like a photo of myself crying and I noticed that that's been shared like hundreds and hundreds of times on Facebook. And you know, most of the comments are extremely sympathetic and lovely. Uh, but there are some people who say, well, we don't know what they did. Maybe they were like sitting on graves or smoking or drinking or something. No, we weren't. <laughs> if anyone's gonna be respectful in a cemetery, it's literally nothing wrong. I don't, I don't even, I feel weird about standing on graves. I won't sit on them. I certainly won't drink alcohol. No, I, nothing. Literally just 20 minutes or so of walking around taking a few pictures. Not even posing on graves. So I hope that clears things up. So I hope that you had a good week last week too. And I hope that this week will also be wonderful for you. So as always, take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. And I will see you next time. Bye.